Hi guys, so for this auto bun, auto ponytail, or in short, auto wig tutorial, I'm going to be using this crochet hair. I love the fact that it has curly tips. I wanted to, you know, just try something different. And then I'll be using this hair net. I actually tried looking for the wig cap that looks like this. But because of the whole quarantine thing, the shops I would have gone to were not open. So I had to work with this hair net. And because it's a hair net, I also had to fix a hair band on it. So, you know the work will come out better i initially thought i could just make use of the hair nets but i needed a more balanced front a more something more balanced for the crochet hair to rest on that was why i fixed the hairband and as i'm sewing the hairband i'm going to try not to sew it on the rubber of the hair net because I, I also need the elasticity of the hair net so at first I started by making the sewings really big and wide apart but on the second thought I realized I needed the hold between the hairband and the hair net to be really strong. So I went back in and started making the sewings really small and close to themselves. After I was done sewing I went on to crochet the hairs to the hair net not on the hairband because it would have been too big to pass through the hair band. So after I was done crocheting around on the first line, I went ahead and crocheted on the second line. And as you guys can see, the second line is close to the first line. And I used the bricklayer method, which is every strand of the second line falling in between two strands below on the first line. After I was done with both lines, I went ahead and pinned the wig cap to the mannequin so that I was going to be able to properly pack the hair without the cap falling to different sides. While securing the wig cap, well in my case, the hair net to the mannequin with a T-pin, please ensure to wear the cap properly on the mannequin before you then um, secure with the T-pin so that there will be enough space for the cap or the auto bun to get into your head. I let the tip pins concentrate more on the net area than on the band area. So at this point, I noticed there were some spaces even as I packed the hair. So I went back in with the remaining crochet hair to fill up the spaces and have the hair, you know, covered up to a good extent.
So this guys is how the autobahn looks like. Now I'm going to try it on for you guys to see just how it fits. So guys, I have on the autobahn look. <laughs> My goodness, I almost said autogele. Well, I have on the autobahn look. And as you can see, I brought the ends to the front. You know, I wanted to switch up the look, so I brought the ends to the front. And my, am um, I feeling this look like... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I love it this way, my goodness, I'm feeling it so much. By the way, I used two hair clips, one to hold it here, the other to hold it here. Like, I didn't think of using hair clips initially, but it kept on falling to the back, falling to the back. So I just, you know, got two random hair clips, and that's why you notice the kind of look of, kind of, like, this is bigger than this one. And, um, I don't know, they just kind of look off. It wasn't part of the plan, yet, but just one of those things you figure out in the moment, yes, and they are performing the work and they're doing just what i want they're giving me the exact look i want my goodness i love it so much this way and this is it like this is it and i love this gold ends oh my i'm in love <laughs> my goodness oh my goodness like this is a perfect way to rock this type of um crochet hair my, oh my oh my i'm speechless it's fun, it's fun. Like, I wasn't expecting it this beautiful. You know, in, like, the type I've been seeing round has been the type where they put, they, they put the hair in a proper bun. They put it in a proper bun, you guys, like, folding in the tips and all that stuff, giving it that proper bun look. But I didn't want something, I didn't want something common. I didn't want everything I was seeing out there. I wanted to do something different for myself. I always try to do something different for myself. So, I decided to go with this crochet hair and, um, uh, I have never had this type of look before like you know these natural hair ladies that have really curly hair like their um, Their natural hair type is really curly and then they give it this front bone or this front Whatever kind of look and always looks really good on them. I have never had such look Well, maybe because my natural hair has never given me the opportunity to do such But no! No, no, my goodness, <laughs> It's an exciting guy, I swear I cannot lie. This wasn't this was way above my expectation. I was just thinking, okay, I'll just let it go all the way back. That just it, that just it. But man, you can tell I'm excited, right? Like I wouldn't be talking this much if I wasn't so excited. I'm really excited. That's why I can't even control my mouth. It's not because blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Anyways, I really, really love this look and I don't think I'll stick it out. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys because I took a different clip when the hair was down. So I'm going to show you guys. But for this, you know, for, for now, I am not removing this thing. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and go on with my day looking like this. This is that. That perfect look. <laughs> I would, however, recommend you go for this type of um, recap. I searched for it, but I couldn't get it. So that's what I used, the type I used. And then I had to go through the extra process of sewing on the hairband and blah 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 so to just save yourself that stress like the many procedures involved in attaching the neck to the hairband and all that and all that i recommend you go for this type of recap to make your auto bond it should just make everything really easy it will even make the packing really easy for you get that kind of stuff like aside the fact that i come here to make tutorials another thing i also try to do is be as truthful as i can and not mislead anyone so that's that for today's tutorial guys if you enjoyed it which i'm hoping you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share the video to your friends your loved ones and all that stuff like if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for and to those who have been a part of the family i thank you very much i thank you for the support and the love and all that stuff Yes, so to my next video guys, stay blessed, stay out of trouble, stay beautiful, stay happy, stay safe. I love you all. Bye.